Hi, this is Bill from Read the Factory Manual. I wanted to show my friends out in the IT world and in the AutoCAD world and Revit world and BIM world how I configure my group policies for remote desktop. To do these settings, you have to have local administrator rights on your computer. And this is done on the computer you're going to be running Revit on, not on the computer that you are using remote desktop on. So in other words, your computer at home, you don't do this on your computer at work where Revit and AutoCAD is located, that's the one you're going to do this on. So you're going to click on start and you're going to type in group to get to edit group policy and you'll click on edit group policy and that'll launch the group policy editor. Under local group policy you'll go into computer configuration, administrative templates, windows components, and find remote desktop services. The ones you're interested in is in the remote desktop session host. Pick on connections. And under select RDP protocols, you're going to go ahead and enable that and make sure it uses both UDP and TCP. UDP is a transport protocol that doesn't ask if the, if the packet made it. So in other words, it's just going to send the packet to your computer and say, okay, here's, here's where the cursor lives today. The TCP protocol is going to send the packet to your computer and say, here's where the cursor lives, and then wait for a response from your computer that says, yes, I got the packet. UDP is the one we want. But you want to use both because Windows is smart enough to know which one to use depending on your connection. So if your connection is not very stable, it'll fall back to TCP. All right, what else can we look at? You can also turn off your audio playback. So you can double click on allow audio and video redirection and you can disable that and then that will make it so that audio doesn't play from your remote computer to your computer at your at your home. And that'll help reduce bandwidth as well. If you need audio playback, well obviously you're not going to be doing that, but you can go ahead and limit the audio playback quality. You can enable that and change it to dynamic, medium, or high. And that may help as well. Some of the other things that may help, if you enforce removal of remote desktop wallpaper, that's going to get the that's going to turn the wallpaper off in the background, and that will help as well because then it won't have to constantly draw and redraw that desktop wallpaper. So that's a good thing to enable as well. Use hardware graphics adapters for all desktop services sessions. This may or may not work on your computer depending on what's going on and what version of the drivers you have and what video card you have, but that may help if you enable that. Remove, uh, use advanced remote effects. That won't work for you unless you're virtualized with Hyper-V. This prioritize and configure this hardware, this H.264. I've had mixed results on that. You can play with that to see if that will help, enabling or disabling that. If you're connecting over a VPN, in other words, you can't get to your computer unless you're on a VPN, some of these security things you can you can lax as well, and you can play with these settings. The ones that I would change would be the client encryption level, set it to low, and then that would make the encryption down to 56-bit encryption instead of 128-bit. So that's going to make processing of the packets a little bit faster. You can turn off require secure connection as well, but the, the one that I would mess with would be the client encryption level, but only if you're on a VPN. Okay, those are a few settings that may help you in your remote desktop. Uh, one of the other things in AutoCAD is don't use that 100% cursor. Get over it. It's not the 1990s anymore. Go with the smaller cursor. That'll help a lot. You'll be surprised. Try not to zoom in and out as much. I find myself when I'm thinking about something or something, I'll move the cursor around or zoom in and out. Try not to do that as much. That will help as well. Sort of like try not to touch your face kind of a thing. So hopefully these things will help your remote desktop session be a little bit quicker.